All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? All right, so Takashi 69 has been one of the most talked about artists in the last six months. And I get it, he got some Billboard records. I know he's going around saying he's six for six. He's Michael Jordan with six ring. Cut it out. Anybody that understands how the Billboard charts work, understand the concept of, that doesn't mean you got good music. It just means your music is streamed. Now, if you're all about your money, I'm fine with that, get your money. Yes, yeah, streams equal money, but don't be bragging like you got six hit records. Them records hit the charts for one, two weeks, and they leave them bitches right after. Nevertheless, Takashi 69 has, has stirred up a lot of drama over the last, what, specifically in Brooklyn over the last week or two, when him and his team went to Barclays, and they were, they got in some type of altercation with Casanova. Now, though details are, are pretty skewed right now, um here's what we know takashi and his team were upset about the fact that um casanova did this podcast with joe budden right it's a new podcast that joe budden has started it's called pull up and the whole pull up part one pretty much was about takashi 69 most of it was about takashi 69 and in takashi's mind he's like yo if we don't like each other and Casanova and, and Takashi have had their issues in the past. Why even talk about me? Why are you in interviews speaking that, like, candid and honest on my name when you know we don't like each other? Why, I, I don't, you know what I mean? And I kind of get that to a degree. People who don't like each other don't go in interviews or go in any other setting where cameras are around and speak on another person's name. Hell, the people I don't like, I don't want to talk to them, period, because I'd be on some, it's on site. Let's just, I don't even want to bring that nigga up. I, I don't like him that much if I really don't like you. But Casanova opted to speak on Takashi 69 on public forums, right? In a public video that you knew was going to get to the internet. And you know Joe Budden does, does a lot of views. And we're here now. Now, since that, Casanova and Takashi have been in a couple incidents. And one of them happened at the Barclays, right? So police have now zoned in on Takashi's manager, who we've seen online a couple times, and I've talked about him on my platform, Trey Way, who's an older gentleman, who's like, yo, we not finna, he's pretty much the muscle behind Takashi 69 he's the dude saying, I'm not finna let nobody bully my artist, you know what I mean, I, my artist might not have the greatest of music, but my artist is not finna be checking in every city, because he's like, I've been around long enough to know other artists didn't have to do that, y'all picking on my ar artist, so Trey Way has been the guy who's been like, yo, and I believe he's the guy that, that got Takashi all the street cred he need in the streets, right? So this guy, Treyway, is now the person of interest in two shootings. The one shooting that happened at Barclays where police are claiming that a shot was fired inside of the Barclays Center as Casanova's team and Takashi 69's team got into it. They're also claiming that Treyway was, was at another center of another shooting with Casanova involved, and they actually have a surveillance camera in which they believe Treyway is the guy uh, on surveillance camera, and you also can see Takashi clearly, but the other guy that's on camera had a hood on. Police are claiming that was Treyway. He went to a Casanova video shoot and fired some shots, then took off in a black Escalade, I believe. He's the person of interest in that shooting, and hell, Takashi and his team are the people of interest and they didn't say Trey specifically, but Takashi's team is the people of interest in another shooting. They are on fire right now, literally. They letting that bitch go, reportedly, all right? So again, this is just allegations. The facts gotta come out. Trey Way is currently wanted for questioning. Takashi 69 has pretty much had to resurface how he's moved. He's got banned from an event at the Barclays Center, a festival that he was gonna perform at because of all this that's transpired is specifically the Barclays shooting and it's hurting the money and there's gonna be somebody out there that says you shouldn't talk about this well here's the problem Takashi and Treyway have let us into their life they post every damn thing online how they'll touch a nigga up if, if a nigga tried them and how ain't nobody gonna touch Takashi so when you the only reason why the TMZ picked up the story on Treyway was, was because they knew him you don't want to pick up a story on Takashi's manager if you don't have to. That's not a big news. But it's big news because they know Treyway has been the guy on camera with Takashi for the last few months. Right? He's been just as 
boisterous as Takashi 69 so that's why it's newsworthy because people know this guy as well and these people are at the center of some shootings revolving around Casanova and it looks like just because of a podcast a beef that was kind of under the rug for a while has now turned back real so watch what you say on podcast because uh there are niggas out here that don't play about you speaking on their name and um i will keep you guys up to date on this case uh well all the cases that trey wade and takashi's team are involved with in in regards to casanova because these are two rappers thank y'all for the time love support i don't take it for granted Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that great stuff. Real quick, real quick. Add is meant to tell a pharaoh. If you rock with me, I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up. On MrTalaferro.com, shawty.